Hello, this video I will show you uh, another pawn uh, to make your uh, successful prank with the DLP or SLA printers. Um, here I will share you some uh, failure results to then analyze what caused this problem. And um, let me see here. As you see, this model, this model is a square meter, uh, something like a square qubit. And this is the failure plane. As you see, both of two have the same feature. Is that when they uh, come out, coming out, they have the tight angles, tight angle. You have the this this is a horizon, but the but this this model, as you see, you have the tight angles, and how this will happen? Um, this has come to the. It it seems that the it's not horizon. Yes, it's not horizon. This is the problem. And um, why that make horizons? And after I I print, I found out my animal plane is also have the. Uh, it's not horizon. Animal plane also. Because of the proof forces between the PFE uh, FPE field and the module and annual planes, annual plane need to pull up the model from the from the FPE field. This change make the animal plane also with the tight angles. So all the model just have the tight angle. At this angle, both of them have the tight angles. As that means that if your print models has a base of a square meters large, as you see here, this two model, this two model, nearly check. This is a nine point eight inch LCD printers. This two model is nearly take um, half of the. Half of the areas, maybe uh, uh, for one first of the areas, but ha uh, whatever this was large has a large square uh, square areas. So with the large square areas, it will have a strong proof uh, forces between your model and the uh, FPE field. So this force make your even make your animal plane will have the uh, have a bank or something not horizons. Um how we can uh, prevent this happens and what caused this is because my animal planes my animal plane has a four screw to tighten it, uh, but I didn't tie it up. And the screw is not tight enough. So that make the platform can hold the horizons post. So if you find your model, something like this one, have the tight angle, you must check out your animal plane. It's very horizon, and make it keep the horizon pose. Okay, and this is the uh, first tips. Make your animal plane screw it up. Make the platform of the animal uh, can horizon. Okay, this one. And the next, I in the last two video I also mentioned you 
when you frame the model, I think small is make your uh, printing much successful. As you see here, but I didn't mention is that the sports also will uh, have the heavy sport, all the lights, all the medio sports. Um, what's the difference? Is that depend depend on your model? This model is the same, but the scale is this uh, is different. This scale is big. This one small. And then when you come to print this uh, bigger one, you better make your spool is very heavy. And with the heavy walls, as you see, the spool is very uh, is larger than this small spools. And how can we uh, how can we make this in the solar setting? And we also come to the turtle box setting. As you see here, when you open open the SCL file, here is the sports. As you see here, as some three different type of sports. This one's light, so light with ticket. This size or sport with very small one. Medio, take and take it. When it comes to medio, this is a lot, uh, much, it is, is larger than the light one, and the uh, much uh, bigger one is the heavy sports. As you see, the heavy sports also have the much uh, larger, the most larger size. But oh, you can, um, uh, you can resize it by uh, taking, changing this uh, data for the for your sports. Um, but I think uh, the heavy one is okay to print this um, model. Um, its setting is enough. But but if you want, by but. If you want to make your printing more successful, here is another point I can mention for you. As you see here, this small one, small sports, you can see the bases, it connected together. The base walls is connected together. When you connect it into one piece, uh, your uh, printing will have a uh, uh, successful uh, way will be increasing and this one you can see the basis is uh, the basis can connect it together how we can make the basis connected together is the way you can make each each both the basis can be larger then it will cover when each space can have a larger spaces, then each of one can easy to connect it together. So, and come to the setting, you can go to the button icon. You can see here at the touch diameters. Here you can change it into small size, like ten millimeters. You can see ten millimeter is very small covers and when you come to the 20 you can see it has the large uh, uh, covers so when you resize this one your each small space will uh, larger than ever you can make the base basement Basement can connect it together to improve your successful print. So, this is the other tips. And we also can, if you want your uh, support much, uh, uh, have has la has many support 
beneath your beneath your modules. You can also adjust the density. You can see here density. The default is fifty percent. You can large it into sixty percent or seventy percent. And also you can lower into uh, thirty or twenty percent. Um, this one can make your um, densities for the spore. Uh, this is another one. You can if the density is is much larger, and you can uh, forecast that the bottom of the you can connect it together. If this uh, density spore is larger, so here is two uh, two diameters I show you uh, a parameter I show you density bottom side you can adjust by yourself and three three different type for the for the spores. When you come to print the small model, you can use the medial sign. When you come to use, come to print this big model, I stress you use the heavy spores, as you see here. Okay, this is the this is the uh, I will show you the another. <coughs> Another pawn or tips for you that make your print much successful. When you come to print some model, it will come like this one. It won't have the plane, bottom plane. This one have the cycle bottom plane, as you see here. With this bottom plane, this, this feature uh, this uh, artwork can stand on it, and with the cover edge for the uh, basement, we will make your print successful. As you see here. This is the original model. This original model didn't have any uh, plane, base plane, basement plane, something like this one. And how can we add this basement? How can we add the something uh, square or cycle basement for the for your model? But this shutter box. This shutter box can provide this one because it just only add a spore like this. You just just can add a spore like this one, this one, something like this. You can add this basement for your models. And how can we? How can we add this one? With the basement like this one, I uh, here I will share you another um, another <sighs> saw rest to add your basement. As you see here, this is the B night B night creatures. As you see here. B9 creatures. When you start it, when you start it, you just have this simple uh, interface. You just need to take the layout and you can have a platform for B9 printers. But we need to add our STL file. So, how can we add it? Here, we have the 
add buttons. You just need to add the 3D model to the layout. Add it and take the model. And you can see this model is here. And how can we add the basement? You can see here has the support support uh, icon and the foundation. You just need to take it. And then you will see with the take the foundation. Take the foundation. You have see that you have, you have the foundation uh, beneath your modules. And but now the foundation is not uh, touched your models. Your model is lift up around five millimeters. How we can make it about uh, the stand on this uh, basement? Here you can go to the model. Then you see the exact is lift out five millimeters. So you just need to change it into. 0 0.5 and enter it and you can see your model is stand on the on the model on the on the foundation yeah so you can just need to export it export it into the STL file here I export it out. Is here I show you the one I export for you. Is here. This one is export from the uh, B B nine creator. Then you can see it have the basement like this one. So with the basement, you it can make your model. Uh, very much successful. Okay, this is another point I tell you. And and the uh, and another one I want to share for you is that is when you come to print a lot of model in one plane something like this one I will show you I will show you this one as you want to bring your model bring more model on what in one plane you may you can add free another model sorry you can also add an add three models into it but why I but I suggest that you the better not add two more model in your in one plane. Why I show you is that when the when your model is very big, have the uh, last square last square large square meters areas. You the better just make this two large model less but not more please don't add more no more model into one place why I say that you the better delete this model only leave two model on it because when you print the large model each layer uh, when come to the bottom Button and the the large model will create a um, large pool for your FPE view. FPE view will bang a uh, very large. If your model is large, the 
your FPE field, something like this one, will also have many have many brands when your model is large. When your model is large, when it pull it pull it up and and out of the FPE field, you will find that your PF FPE field will uh will bang it very very large areas. So if two of your model it's very close enough. Very close enough. And all it and a, a, a lion all of the model on, on it. All the large model. All the large model in your in your plane. And each model when it put it up, it will make your FPE view bang. It will affect another one when this one put it up this bank will make this one bank uh, unregularly so each model will affect another one when your model is big so you the better pose the both big uh, uh, you you the, you the better make these two model uh, paste in the different size. You need to make them to have a larger space. Then when the when you put it up, when this model put it up, this area bank will not affect the uh, another this area bank. They uh, because the PFE field will bang when you're putting up this model. So I've just suggest that if your model is big, you the better make them uh better make them um separate. Have a large space for separating. Not don't uh paste them too close. This this is not good for the FE fields printers. So you can just Paste them, have a large uh, spaces from here to here. So this is um, the uh, fourth tip when you print the large model. I suggest that you the better make your uh, model separate and have a large space. And when they pulling up, PFE field spring will not affect each other. So, and then I'll show you another is that 40, 40, 45 degrees printing, 45 uh, degrees and uh, pulse will make and at the spore will make your uh, printing much uh, successful. When you come to print something like this model, if you just want to add the sports you the better make this uh, object object to have the angle of the lower than 40, 40, 40, uh, 45 degree then add the sports for this uh, model if you just make it uh, make it virtually like this one and act the sports, this is not good. And when it comes into 40, uh, 45 degree times, and add the sports, and will make your successful much, uh, uh, much successfully. So, this is a 45 degree printing uh, suggestion. Um, I also will have a link to introduce for, for uh, 45 degree um, printing uh, adding sports below you can take the below link to see much more detail for how to post your 
uh, model into 45 degree. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. If my tips can help you, um, help you can uh, make a like for my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.